How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So I've been thinking about retiring a couple of my older Milwaukee tools that have served me well over the last number of years. The first is my M18 drill, 2606-20. It's just tired, the chuck is acting up. And the next one is my M12 impact driver, 2462-20. It too is getting old and tired. Just thought now's the time to upgrade to the new more powerful m18 fuel generation 4 versions so i went out to the tool store and picked this up the brand new m18 fuel hammer drill and impact driver set part number 3697-22 this kit includes the generation 4 M18 fuel hammer drill, part number 2904-20, and also includes the Gen 4 impact driver, part number 2953-20, comes with two XC 5.0 batteries, the M18 and M12 dual charger, as well as the blow molded carrying case. In this video, I'm gonna open up this 3697-22 kit show you what's included and give you my first impressions well enough chit chat let's open her up and see what we got so here's a blow molded case let's open her up and <sighs> smell that new tools first up we got our dual battery charger. Another one to add to my row of chargers. So let's start with the M18 fuel hammer drill. Again, it's part number 2904-20. So there's the drill. Here's the handle. And some brackets that attach. Right there on both sides and you just thread your handle through whether you're right-handed or left-handed. So to put those on are quite easy. You just line them up with the notches in the case. Grab your handle. Thread it in. Until it's nice and snug. Now you got a firm grip for when you're drilling some heavy holes. Now I'll just rattle through some of the specs in this unit. It's got 1,400 inch-pounds of torque, which works out to be 116.6 foot-pounds. RPM, you got two settings, 0 to 500 and 0 to 2100. And when you have the hammer drill on, you get 0 to 33,000 beats per minute. It's got a half-inch all-metal chuck, length 6.9 inches, and weight with the battery is 4.9 pounds. If you don't want to use the hammer drill function, just turn it to the drill mode. And also you've got from 2 to 15 different settings on the clutch. So you can set it to automatically kick out once it gets to a certain torque. One thing that really sold me on this unit is the auto stop mode. What it does, it senses when you're drilling through and all of a sudden that chuck gets gripped or you start to break through the other side. We've all had the drill where it just snaps back and almost breaks your wrist. What this does, when you're drilling away and all of a sudden that thing binds, it'll kick back. And once it reaches about 45 degrees, it'll automatically shut off. And you'll see this light on the base flash, which definitely saves your wrists, saves your knuckles. Definitely a good idea if you ask me. Now the important part, how's it feel in your hand? Now it's got a nice grippy handle. It feels very well balanced. I don't feel it wanting to nose down or back. Just kind of sits level in your hand, which at the end of the day helps reduce fatigue. Well, 
Well, let's put this one away and let's check out the impact driver, 2953-20. Here's the unit here. So the specs on it is, it's got your regular quarter inch chuck. Maximum torque is 2,000 inch pounds, which adds up to 166.6 foot pounds. Quite a bit of torque for a little unit. It's got the three LEDs on the front, which really lights up the workspace well. This unit has four modes, which is switched by the button above the lights here. First one's number one, number two, number three, and the fourth one is for self-tapping screws. What it does, when you turn that mode on, and you pull the trigger more than halfway, once that screw gets fully seated, the tool will automatically shut off. Which when you think about it, really reduces the risk of breaking bits, breaking screws, and damaging the work surface. Now getting back some of the other specs, RPM, zero to 3,900, and impacts per minute is zero to 4,400. It measures in at 4.47 inches, and weighs in at 3.8 pounds, with the battery. Again, it's got the same grip as the, the drill and feels very, very well balanced. Another feature I like is you only need one hand to insert the bit. You don't have to pull it and put the bit in. You just push the bit and it automatically locks in. Which makes things a lot more easier when you're wearing bulky gloves and stuff like that. It also comes with operator's manual, the drill, the impact driver, and the battery and the battery chargers. Now just a size comparison of my old and new tools. As you can see, the old one on the right, new one on the left. New ones, slightly taller. The width, very similar. And as far as weight, I don't notice much of a difference at all. Both very, very close. Let's check out the impact drivers. Now I know I'm kind of comparing apples to oranges between the M12 and M18. The M18, slightly taller. Turn it sideways. M18's a little bit thicker. Very minimal though. But where the new M18 one gets it is the length. Definitely makes a big difference if you're trying to get in the tight spots. So I'm going to take my impact driver and this leg bolt, try to put it through this 5 inch wood block, see how it goes. No problem at all, easy work. So now, in the same block of wood, I got a two and three eighths inch hole saw. I got my handle on the drill. I'm gonna try it against the same block. Let's see if this auto stop feature works if it binds. Well, we're not perfect. I guess I should turn the clutch all the way to drill. Let's try it again. It just burns right through it. Now I haven't used this to the point where it binds up so the auto stop feature kicks in but one thing I did notice is if you pull the trigger and then jar your fingers or hands that way or this way it'll actually work I'll show you 
you can see the lights flashing. So it seems to work good. That way it shuts off before it causes too much damage to your arms and wrists. Seems like a really good idea. Be something that the time will tell if it kicks out when it shouldn't. And if it helps you or if it just seems to be annoying. We'll find out. So it definitely pays to shop around a little bit before you just go to any store and start buying tools. Because by buying this kit, the place I got it, they threw in an extra battery. For no charge, I got this M18 Red Lithium High Output XC 6.0 battery. Which is definitely handy to have in a collection. So take your time, do some shopping around, find out what kind of deals are out there. Well, so far, I'm really happy with what I see here, and I can't wait to put these two tools to work next week and do reviews on them once I get some hours on them. You know, give you a little bit more educated opinion once I put them through their paces. So if you want to see the reviews on them, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you get notified when the videos come out. If you like the video and like these tools, hit that like button. And if you didn't like them, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know why. And if you do like them, leave a comment and let me know what you like about them. Just want to end this video by thanking one of my viewers who leaves a comment, Terry Fisher. Thanks for the comment. I enjoy reading all my comments. And I try to get back to as many as possible. Well, that's it for tonight's video, everybody. Have a good night, and thanks for watching.